Hey guys, welcome to America's Freedom Media, and this is your angry American. Well, we've got an issue with uh, transgenders in our military. Well, actually, they're not going in our military, which is a good thing. I'm a veteran, and I wholeheartedly oppose this. I've got some clips here from you from Fox News, uh, various, various clips I'd like you to check out, and we'll be back to talk about it a little more. This disgusting ban will weaken our military and land that it defends. Our nation is not safer when we sanction discrimination. Because of How President Trump's announcement, America will be less safe. The, the President of the United States this morning announced he is blowing 15,000 holes in our military readiness. It's undermining, How is it I think, undermining our, national our nation's defense. defense. This disgusting action endangers Banning the lives of American soldiers doesn't American put other members soldiers at and risk. makes our country less safe. Patrick Maloney represents New York in the House of Representatives, and he joins us tonight. Congressman, thanks a lot for coming on. But, so, I understand why people don't like this, but to not like it and to claim that it makes our country less safe are, are two different things. How does this make our country less safe? Well, how about SEAL Team 6? Okay. Um, I think you'd agree they make our country more safe. So, Kristen Beck, member of SEAL Team 6, uh, she's a transgender woman. Uh, He's seven putting combat up a straw tours, man. Uh, Beck did not Star serve in the military right? as a transgender. Um, she's done a hell of a lot more for our country than you and I ever military. will. And uh, she made our country safer. That's the person we're going to remove from military service. Straw man. I, I Beck is no longer in the military. She's a transgender SEAL, though. Uh, no. Transgenders have never been allowed to serve openly and to have their transitions paid for by the U.S. government. This is something that began. In a, in a gradual way, with the Obama administration, this country's been around for almost 250 years, winning a bunch of wars. That's not a slight on any specific person. It's, I'm merely skeptical at why this makes our country less safe. I don't actually think that you can show that. I think you're just mad about it, and you're using our national security to make your point. Tucker Carlson makes a very good point here. They are jeopardizing our national security Democrats don't care about our national security. They care Rachel about Clark identity is a politics. transgender it's activist who served in the U.S. Marine Corps. She joins me now in studio. Thanks so much for coming in Thank today. You. Thanks for having me. First of all, I want to get your impressions of this policy. How does this policy make you feel? Well, I served for eight years in the military in the United States, and it doesn't make so me feel good. So my military sisters the are supposed to feel good about having some The president this morning tweeting that he will not allow transgender individuals in to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. He ended it. Well, I think that sometimes we make personal choices that affect our career opportunities, and this might be one of those cases. The first question I want to, the first thing I want to address here is: Look, the military's job is to put bullets in bad guys. Bingo. If you think adding an, an additional variable like transgenderism, whatever that is, it's a mental uh, disorder. To uh, an already stacked against us fight, it doesn't help. If you can answer the question honestly, how does adding transgenders to the military help? us defend the United States of America, I'm happy to have that conversation. But the fact is that it doesn't. This is not a social experiment. The military is there to defend the United States, not anything else. It's not a time for you to try Carl, new things that might right, be I, fun. Carl, I mean, Look, transgenderism is not an actual thing. It's, it's a, a mental dysfunction. You are born a guy or you're born a girl, period. You can change, you can add or subtract anything via surgery you want, but the fact of the matter is you are still a guy or a girl as you were born. This is something that adds a totally new dynamic. We have two genders right now. We've done away with the race thing because, as you, as you mentioned before, the race thing has been done away in the military. But we have two genders right now. You start adding a half male and but half female. But the fact female, is, it, and Robin, you can factors. jump in here. I mean, there's already, the estimates yeah. range from seven to 11,000 that I read today, people who are already exactly. serving. Now, th there's a distinction that needs to be made here, whether or not you're in the middle of this process, whether you're undergoing surgery. If there are medical reasons why you cannot be there, and, and you know, no one should necessarily expect that these surgeries should be paid for by the military. Robin, do you agree with that part of this? Bingo. 
Yes, and I'm so glad you asked. I have already been briefed on this entire process. Uh, but we've already, the, the military forces have already gone through. 100% of the troops have been brought up to speed on the integration of, of trans troops. So we already have been most briefed don't that, like this is a med that this is a medical procedure. Let me finish. This is a medical procedure. This is not a mental illness. You see a medical doctor, they prescribe medicine. So he's denying the that transgenderism is a mental illness, medication, but he just says like you would for any other illness, illness. nonetheless. They do not pay so for the, the surgery, but they pay for the medical condition to treat gender dysphoria, you can call it which is gender a medical condition. It's worth pointing out that, that, that when woman, asked, and we don't have time to play the soundbite right now, but General Mattis, in his confirmation hearing, said, you know, frankly, Senator, I never cared much about two consenting adults and who they go to bed with. And he's indicated in a number of ways, Carl, that um, that he was okay with this program moving forward. Yeah, look, I have no problem. If you want to be transgender in your own time, go ahead. But here's the fact. When I came back from Iraq in 2009, I have, I have skin cancer in my family, so I wanted to get tested for skin cancer. The military wouldn't pay to send me to a dermatologist, but now they're going to pay for people to be transgender? That just doesn't make sense. It's on the backs of the American taxpayer, and that's what I'm not okay with. Do whatever you want on your own time. Don't put it on the backs of the military, and certainly don't make us conform, because many of the military members that I've spoke to, actually all of them, don't support this policy. All right. Does the transgender policy make the military more effective in its core task? No, it doesn't. Uh, Tucker, this policy is problematic for three reasons. First, there are the obvious privacy concerns, but second, it elevates identity politics over combat preparation. Does Captain Hassan look nervous most to you guys talking about this issue on Tucker's show? Removing objectivity what do you think the possibilities of his military uh, civilian career being so in the this? Let said, me know it comments, elevates sir. identity politics over combat readiness. Well, let me explain. So the Army has uh, very specific physical readiness requirements for male and female soldiers yes. uh, based on like, body fat, uh, height and weight, but based on biological differences between males and females. Well, under this policy, a soldier can change their gender in the Army's personnel system without undergoing sex reassignment surgery or any other physical changes whatsoever. So in the Army, an so the criteria, year old, as long well, as you say you've changed, you've changed? If you have achieved stability in the preferred gender and change your birth certificate, then you are um, now a different gender. And for an example of how this plays into the readiness issue, an 18-year-old male soldier with 21% body fat is considered a liability and is non-deployable. An 18-year-old female soldier with 21% body fat is, is fit for duty. So if you have an 18-year-old soldier with 21% body fat and all of the characteristics of a, a male soldier, but identifies as female, he could be combat eligible when under the female standard, when he otherwise would not be, or when the soldier otherwise would not be. And all these people are fighting the same wars, right? Sure thing. So, I mean, if, if, you're, if your only goal was to be the most effective fighting force you could, you'd have a common standard, wouldn't you? You would think that, uh, you know, under the issue I just described, and the example I just described, essentially you're combat eligible if you identify as the type of person who would be combat eligible. And, well, that's very millennial. That's not a really good way to fight wars. I have to say I agree with Captain Hassan on this issue. It is a very millennial idea to put transgenders in the military, but it is no way to fight a war. Like the Navy SEAL uh, said earlier in the video, that most of the military opposes this and I have to say that as a veteran I oppose it as well because you're trying to put people who have a 40 percent suicide rate in combat situations that are extremely stressful and could cause you know could cause them problems mentally along and could cost their life as well as uh, compatriots lives and that's not a good situation to put people in let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell. I truly appreciate you guys watching my video and visiting my channel. Have a blessed evening. Whoa.